Well, the time is actually here. May 29th is the launch of the 30-Day Church Challenge. We're going to be looking at the five core purposes of the church, the blueprint that we see in Acts 2, 42 through 47, looking at five really important factors that are really the recipe for, for life in the church then and life in the church now. But things, if we're not careful, we end up leaving out. May 29th is core purpose number one. We're going to be talking about authentic community. Now, what is that? That is the very real, tangible relationship that exists between believers and is usually felt at the smallest of levels. It doesn't matter whether you attend a church that has 40 people on Sunday, 400 people on Sunday, or 4,000. It really doesn't matter. You need to get smaller than that. You need to get connected to um, real community where, as the old TV show used to say, where everybody knows each other's names and where you're a real person and not just so that we can know people, but that so that we can grow in each other. That is authentic community. And we're going to be exploring that topic as we look further to see what the scripture has to say, what our Christian heritage has to say, and how we are called to live that out in our daily life. I hope you'll pick up the devotional booklet if you've not yet done so, because it'll really do a great job of building on what we talk about tomorrow throughout the week. The devotionals begin with Monday, June the 1st. If you need a copy by email, just, just shoot me a message. I'll be happy to send one to you. If you're not where you can pick one up at worship tomorrow. So what does it really mean to be a follower of Jesus? We certainly think about our beliefs, the things that we feel in our head and in our heart that make us um, followers of Jesus. Hopefully it means finding a church that we can connect to. But the missing ingredient for a lot of people is the really personal connection. You know, you can sit in a bench in a church every Sunday and still not have authentic community. You can have great worship and still not have authentic community. You can have all your beliefs perfect and still not have authentic community. The pattern that we see in Acts chapter 2 is folks who were really together, not just physically together, but their hearts were together. They, were, they really had a unity that was amazing. I hope you'll join us Sunday, May 29th, as we launch our five core purposes as part of the 30-Day Church Challenge and as we think together about authentic community.